cold? Yeah, cool. Alright, so you, you talked about racism before. Shit. Tell me tell me about how that's affected you. You you think it's getting worse or better or what? Oh shit. Cause um you know, cause with like Trump and all, right? I mean extremists he, are getting worse, but overall uh -huh. yeah, it's definitely getting better. You think it's getting better? Extremists I feel like are just getting more loud. Okay. The extreme, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the kind of, like, the, the people that were always, like, super racist, they kind of just found their opportunity to just, like, you know, finally yeah. express it uh -huh. themselves. Yeah. yeah. Express it whenever they want to. Uh-huh. Now, next question. What is your greatest accomplishment in life? What's up? Greatest accomplishment in life. <laughs> um... Okay. I mean... Huh? You win a spelling bee or anything? Shit, hell no. No? I wish. You run any marathons? Nope. <laughs> I don't so know jack shit. Nothing, okay. That's fine. Nah. No. Except right. release my music on, on all platforms. It's my greatest accomplishment. Okay. I guess kind of just like overcoming that fear and just saying like, you know, like, let's do yeah. it. No, let's do you want music. You want to do any dating questions? Dating questions? Yeah. Sure, hit me. All right. Uh, let's say let's say you ask a girl out, right? What's up? And she says no. Okay. You see her again mm -hmm. two months later. You gonna um, you gonna try again? Or you Am gonna I gonna shoot up? my shot again? Yeah. Is she still looking that fine? Yeah, she's still looking that fine. Yeah, I'll ask her. I mean, it depends. If I, if she shot me down, she said she was she had a boyfriend, but like you know, it's for well, real. She just wasn't feeling you. What's up? Or she just wasn't feeling you? Nah, I don't really care. I'm not gonna give that effort again. You're not gonna give the effort again? Nah. So you're gonna give up? Not, not in like, not in times of giving up, but like just being like, you know, I don't really care. Alright. You know, if like, they don't match my vibe, that's it. How important is it to dress well when you're out there trying to meet women? It's pretty important. I'd say, yeah, definitely important. So you try to dress well? Put some like uh, effort into looking good. Of course, but I'm also not gonna say like, yo, you gotta be walking around in six inch stilettos all day, you know? No, I'm talking about you. Oh me? Shit, I mean, I'm always looking if good. If you try to, if you try to attract the women, or if you try to ask women out, sweatpants, tuxedo, I'm always out. looking good. It doesn't matter. So you're always looking good. You keeping always. your shoes clean? I see you. you always. You feel me? Feel me? Just in case I get a little camera a little. Yeah. 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 No. Feel now, me? What do you think about? Um, Approaching women in public spaces like this. You run up on them? You yeah. see a fine girl over there? You if you're that fine, there? yeah, if you're that fine yeah. and from like really want your number that badly, then sure, yeah. Alright, now something that people talk about a lot on my channel is cat calling. Cat calling. What are your thoughts? Hey mama Sita, what do you what's your what is your thoughts about that? Nah, my mama raised me with respect. So you don't do that? You're against that? I don't do it, but I'll also, I mean, I, I don't shy away from like just talking to a, a random stranger, you know? Yeah. So you, you respect the women? Of course. Always. Love no. the ladies. Now, can opposites attract? Let's say you're into rap, she's into heavy metal. Can, can, can opposites attract? I don't know about heavy metal. If it was like country, I'd be like, okay. You know. So you accept the country? I'll accept the country. Right. Heavy metal is a little too hardcore. So you 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 don't think opposite? You, you gotta pretty much to a certain extent. Similar, yeah. You gotta you gotta be similar. I say so, yeah. Cause I had a woman come on here, and she said, if a dude is gonna date me, she's gotta become friends. He's gotta become friends with my friends too. Yeah, really, hundred percent. Yeah. So you would you you think that a man would have to become friends with the with the woman's friend? Yeah, I mean all. I mean, you see, I don't really think about that because, like, I'm just an overall friendly person. I would, I would like to think, like, to assume so. So, so you would just get along with the woman's friends? Yeah, I mean, unless she's a massive bitch and she's telling my girl to break up with me, then I just tell her to fuck off. Have you had haters like that before? Hell yeah. Yeah, women, women who t who try to break you up? Oh, a thousand percent. Okay. How do you handle that? I mean, tell her to fuck off. No, don't get involved. Realistically can't stop her from telling her, talking to your girl when they're like separate so there's not much you can do about that except for you know worry about your own yeah. let me ask you this why 
Okay, body language, body language. Body language. So, you see a chick over there that you like, and she's giving you the green light. What kind of what kind of signals is she sending? Just like looking over, just giving a little a little smile, a little smirk, you know. Just like keep on looking back and forth. Nothing, nothing like fucking creepy, of course, but you know. You just gotta you gotta feel the vibe. The vibe's right, you know. You just walk over there. All right, now you talked about the vibe being right. What's up? Yeah. How do you know the vibe is wrong? How do you know the vibe is right? No, I mean, if she's giving you negative signals, is she looking away? Is she walking away? What is she doing? Her body like? I mean, if I'm walking towards her and she's like walking. No, if you're just checking her out like over here. Because sometimes, you know, they'll look away immediately. Yeah, like, yeah. As, I mean, soon as, look see, away. as soon as she sees you looking at her, she looks away. Or she starts walking away, not that. Yeah, but then again, it could be a shy girl. She could be a little shy, but she's interested. She'll be like, oh, shit. And then she'll, like, peek back at me. If she doesn't peek back, then it's like, you know, like... She's so, not peeking back. She's not down. So walking away and looking away does not necessarily mean a red light. Walking away, I feel like, is definitely a red light. Walking away is a red light. Yeah. Okay. Next question. How long do you wait before you call a chick once you get her number? Call her shit whenever you feel like. I mean, depends, you know, you gotta feel an hour? A day? Oh, hell no, not an hour. I'm still too soon. See, my thing is like, as soon as they give me their number, I'll text them my name, right? So then, the ball's in their court. Then you just leave wherever the situation is. Oh, I need a girl right here, ba da 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 da, spew her up. Get her, oh, let me put, get your number. She got to give me your number. Text her immediately my name, right? Leave. Balls in her court. She texts you back, like her name or whatever. Like, boom, get right, get right to it. How long does it take you to like a woman once you meet her, or once you see, once you know of a woman? Let's say you're working with her, or you're going to school with her, and you've seen her, you know who she is. How long does it take you for you to like her? Couple. I say like a couple dates, you know, get to know her real well. No, I mean, you just working with her or going to school with her. You oh, ain't well, going out with her. Oh, and just, how long does it take for you to say, okay, I could see myself asking her out? How long would it take? I say just a fact after like the, the first or second time, you can pick up on the vibe. She's like down, she likes you, she's like constantly talking, you know, she's not being shy, not being shy or quiet, you know, you just hit her up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all hang out, and then next thing you know, ask her on another date, and then pa pa pa. What are some turnoffs for you? Massive bitch. Too uh, too high maintenance. Too bitchy. And like, she fucks with me, but she hates all of my friends. And like, tries to change anything you do. How do you know something is going the wrong direction? If you if you if you're going out with a woman, how do you know things are going in the wrong direction? And how long does it take you to figure that out? And I pick up on, on like the senses and like vibe pretty quick. So like if I feel like something's like not going as well as I'd like, like it to be, you know I'm not gonna be too persistent and keep on pushing. You know I'm just gonna back away, see where you're at. You catch the vibes, you catch the vibes. But if you don't, you know. What are you looking for in a woman? For someone I could just hang out with, chill. Smoke bowl, and then just make some music. You gotta be, you gotta be uh, supportive about the music, though. Hundred percent. Not supportive of what I do, then fucks you around for it. You know? What are your thoughts on online dating? Oh shit! This is a big one. My buddies and I talk about this all the time because my buddies fucking love it. My buddies are eating up on Hinge and Tinder and whatever the fuck. Like, but I don't know. You're not, not into it. Like, don't get me wrong, I have an account. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. No cap here. I got an account. Maybe I'll check it out like once a week. Uh -huh. The thing is, like, I'm not, you know, I'm the type of person I'd rather go out. I mean, that's why you kind of see me out right now. Shit. So you're not trying to go on, on, on those online websites? Nah. Bad boys. Why are women attracted to bad boys? Men who treat her badly. Because they want someone that they can change. Okay. You're the second guy to say that. 
Well, the, the last person so was there was a woman. What was that? I said the last person to say that was a woman. That's when you know I'm right. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's say, let's say you meet a woman. You think she's cool, but not like that. You want to chill with her like she's one of the guys. How do you? She's a homie. How do you handle that? Yes. Treat her like she's a homie. That's it. That's it. You don't try to say, I only want to be friends. I'm not trying to date you. You wouldn't say. I mean, I feel friend. like if. I mean, I flirt with girls, different, like, girls I'm more attracted to. I talk to girls that I'm attracted to differently than I talk to girls I'm not attracted to. You feel me? Yes. I call my homies that are girls, dude. I'm like, yo, dude, check that. Like, you know. Yeah. Now, let's go back to the general question. Uh, where have you been? Any states or countries specifically? In like, any, any, anywhere. Where have you traveled? Recently or my entire any, life? Your entire life. Oh, I've been a bunch of fucking places. Tell us. East coast, west coast, all over South America. Not in Europe though. I'm a, I'm a uh, Western Hemisphere guy. So you've been all to like Argentina and all those places. Yeah. To Brazil. I'm Ecuadorian, so I I'll, I'll go there all the time as a kid. You're the Ecuador. second Ecuadorian on my show. Hey, show. go Ecuador, baby. What's up? I had a, a rapper Ecuador, come Quito, out here, Guayaquil, what's up? Hey. Yeah, his name is Rap Z V T E. He's on my channel. Hey. So he rapped. He, he rapped. Hey, all shout the out Rap Z V T E. What's up? Let's collab. Catch me out here, at Calvin Ryan. So now, next question. What's up? Where would you like to go in the future? Europe. Where? France, you? Italy. I don't know. I gotta. I gotta meet like a, a nice Italian or French chick, Greece. I don't know, I like to go with an accent. That's exotic. No exotic Spain, European. Spaniard, yeah, of course, but like at the same time I speak Spanish, so that's not too exotic, you know? Okay, so Spain is not exotic. Because eh. most of the time, I say you're the only Latino on this show who said they didn't want to go to Spain. Because every other I mean, yeah, I would go to Spain a thousand percent, but I'd rather go to like France or Italy over Spain. Yeah. I'm trying right. to meet a different ethnicity, you know? I'm trying to. Have a kid that's Asian, Hispanic, and French. Asian, You're Asian Hispanic. Too? And, yeah, I'm half Asian, half Hispanic. Really? What's that like? Sir. It's pretty I don't know, it's crazy, huh? You can speak Asian? No, nah, I don't speak Burmese. I'm from uh, well my dad's from Burma. Myanmar now. Myanmar? My my mom's from Ecuador. Yeah. You speak been Spanish. Back to Myanmar? Nah, I wish. You know if that's not on your list of, of, of Oh a one thousand percent. You want to go? But it's fucking hard to get there, man. It's like fucking yeah. war and shit. You gotta get a visa? Yeah, bro, it's hard. Yeah. Alright, that's where the golden triangle is, man. Yeah. Myanmar. Okay, now, a lot of New Yorkers are leaving New York. Do you know anyone who's left and where are they going? Yeah, I got a lot of friends from Florida. So, like, they came to New York and they were here for a couple, like, this past year and then they just went back down to Florida. A lot of them I know are actually coming back, though, so. So, Florida. Yeah. I mean, they're coming back to New York for a reason. I mean, New York ain't dead. Like, shit, you see everything going on around here right now? Love her, love your outfit. That's fresh. Now, what are some good places to film videos like this here in New York? Washington Square Park is definitely like prime location. Shit, that's why I got my videos. That's why I came for my videos too, you know? You feel me right now? I was filming like a TikTok. I just made a new song last night. So I'm trying to, you know, make some content for that song. So I can get up, get some hype going before I release it. Got a new song though coming out tomorrow. What kind of responses are you getting from TikTok? I mean, I don't. You really like? I've just been starting to use TikTok this past like two weeks because I know like how important it is for, uh, you know, like any sort of creator in this industry is now. How's that going so far? It's going well. I fuck with TikTok. How many I really views like you it. get on, on a video? A couple hundred. Two hundred. Like five, six. I've got five, like a couple thousand on like other ones before. That's pretty good. I'm only getting like 400. That's good. Yeah. But I'm I'm, I'm also trying to figure things out. That's why I'm asking. Hey man, you just gotta keep posting. That's what I heard. I mean, one of my friends, bro. She's a she's a radio host down in Florida, Miami. She just started posting about like a month ago on TikTok. 
And now she's already got 400k followers. She's wow. constantly posting. She posts like three times a day. Hey, what? shout out Cat Haley at It's Cat Haley on Instagram and uh, TikTok. She's funny as fuck. What does she do? Dances and stuff? No, she's a, she's a radio host. So she'll like talk to the radio. She'll like say some funny shit that some people try and get her to say. You know, she'll do some funny videos, uh-huh. like the, the casual TikTok videos. Because TikTok is competitive. Yeah, bro. Everyone's done TikTok. No. Next question. Peer pressure. How has that affected you in life? Everyone's been peer pressured. Shit, right? I think, I think like so, right? what? Drugs? Drinking? Oh, yeah. I was peer pressured into... Not really, actually. I kind of wanted to smoke the first time I smoked. Not drinking, too. I mean, I've been peer pressured to drink and smoke, but, like... It wasn't, like, my first time. It was more like a... Oh, shit, I don't want to go out on a Saturday. And my buddy's like, yo, come on, bro. we're all going out. You don't want to stay in? I'll be like, all right, fine, I'll go out. You know? You come to this park often? All the time. Tell me the weirdest thing you've seen or heard here in this park. Oh my god. This guy here moving around. Hell no, that's not even close. I saw someone naked in the fountain once. So we're just running around in the middle of the fountain with the fucking like the when the fountain was on too. He was just like fucking running through the water just fucking butt naked. You're the I, second guy to say that. Yeah, bro. He was, I think he was trying to like clean his ass or some shit. Like it was some sort of like bidet. It was just fucking... <laughs> That's scary, man. But that doesn't bother you. No, I mean, I was born and raised in New York. So like, I know like, I've seen some crazy shit. Like, you know, it's just New York. Now, where were you coming from before you came here to this park? My crib. You came straight from your crib to here? Yeah. Where are you going once you leave here? I don't know. So Wherever. you have no plans? No, I'm just fine. Right. You're not gonna go look at the Christmas tree? I've seen that way too many times, kid. No. I'm just walking around. No. Yeah. Valentine's Day is coming up. What do you got going on? I don't have Valentine's though. Yet. Not yet. We'll find some. We'll find some. Still got time. We got like a month. Yes. Oh, we got a month exactly. Look at that. We're chilling. Now, we are currently in a new year right now. We are. Have you got any resolutions? Hell yeah. Got a resolution, new song every month. Dropping a music video soon. It's already recorded and everything. It's fucking crazy. Jets, Lambos, Ferraris. About to pop off. Just like, you know, getting a million streams on Spotify. That's a, that's a resolution right there. Just my music, that's it. Now you talking about releasing stuff often. What motivates you? The enjoyment of doing it. I like, I, I find out, like, I enjoy doing it. Like, shit, I'll be up till five in the morning, like, willingly, like, having no problem, just, like, working. Because it's, like, it's music. It's what I love. I've been around it all my, my entire life. I'm, like, singing, rapping my entire life. So, you know, it's just, like, warming, I guess. I'm not trying to do a nine to five too. That's that's kind of like a big motivation too. I'm not trying to get stuck in that nine to five. Hell no. Now, I've got a question for you. What's up? I recently had my Instagram deactivated, Ooh. and I've heard, I've had other people on this channel say the same thing. People with like 50k followers they had it deactivated. Do you have any tips on how not to get deactivated? What are some things we should not be doing on Instagram? I mean, shit, what, what were you doing that you got deactivated for? Just don't do that. I don't, they don't tell you though, that's the thing. Now, I could be posting too much. Nah, it's or not number such one, I could be to. posting too much. Number two, I could be signing in from different IP addresses. Is that a thing? Well, that's what they say on Google. So I don't then you know. gotta hit them up, but like, yo, I swear to God, I'm just using my one phone or my laptop. That's it. Pop. How often do you post on Instagram? Probably like. Month, twice, twice a week. Twice a week. Twice a week. So you're in the safe zone. Is that the safe zone? Yeah. Fuck. I, to be what in the I safe did zone. was I posted ten pictures in one day. Apparently that's unacceptable. Yeah, no, nah, not that, not that, not that. Because this is what I do. You can post ten pics in a, th- throughout the week, but not in one day. I did it in one day, and I did it back to back. Nah, I can't do that. I can't do that. That's the thing uh, with what I do. I take pictures with people. And then I don't upload it immediately. I do it all at once. So like I'll wait like a week, two weeks, and then upload it all at once. Ah. 
You gotta, you gotta keep it consistent, cause then you gotta have your followers like know when you're dropping. You know, like it's like yo, every every week you're dropping a new new interview every Monday. You know, keeps your keeps your followers consistent and in the know. You know, they already know. Oh shit, nine o'clock on Monday. You know what's up? Bah. How many followers you got? On Instagram? Yeah. Uh, like seven K right now. That's good. What was the secret to getting followers? I mean, I've just been kind of growing more more recently just because the music really. And it's just, you know, being out there, just posting content that's like can uh, can appeal to the to the general or if you're doing something super specific like for your for your niche, you know, you gotta just market to that to that niche. Come come a little bit more. Yeah. Is it is it just random people following you or people you know? Both. I probably so you more people more like random people know. though. Random? People I know. Yeah. What are some positive responses you've gotten from me? Do you get messages from strangers? Yeah, yeah. I've actually been getting more messages lately. My DMs from like random people just saying like, "Yo, I fuck with your music. I see what you're doing out here. Keep grinding. You know, just keep going. Keep doing you." So like that's kind of a big motivating factor, I would say, to just have me, you know stay up till five in the morning every night and just work you know what kind of videos do you watch videos do i watch yeah. everything shit yoga videos i've done yoga i'm not gonna lie i can cap i've done yoga yoga's fire yoga's dope hot yoga i had a couple of yoga people on my show hot yoga's crazy people shit on yoga don't shit on yoga yoga will get you right Plus, the amount of girls in those classes. Say Have this. I asked who you follow? Nah. Who do you follow? I follow my friends and artists, photographers, for the most part. What's up, man? Uh, I was wondering what your YouTube channel is called. It you want, you want to know the channel's name? Yeah. I'll give you the name. Right? You want the name or you want me to tell you? Now, what kind of questions would you ask if you were doing interviews? Oh, oh, who am I interviewing? Anybody? No, let's say you're walking around here. What do you want to know about these people? Everything. Where are you from? What's up? Where are you from? I'm from New York City. New York City. What's your name, bro? Sean. Nice to meet you, Sean. What's up? How old are you? 18. 18. You see, just fucking. I got the spew. I'm from New York. Born and raised. The basic question. Yeah, basic question, but then you use the basics, you know, you get to know them, you should keep on going. You, you go to school here? Yeah, I go to NYU? So you live right here? Yeah. See? Now I know where he lives. <laughs> Boom. Crazy. NYU, we, we get a lot of people on this channel from NYU. Oh, yeah? Yeah, a lot. What's the channel about? It's just interview, like I'm interviewing him. Okay. You're up it's next, don't worry. like basic questions. Right. You're up next, don't worry. Not everybody, you see, not everybody is um, camera friendly. They, they not necessarily try to be in front of the camera. So, let me ask you this. What's up? Is Facebook still relevant? Hell yeah. But like, no, but like, hell yeah. Why? Like, no for me and the younger generation, but hell yeah for the older generation. That's where my mom gets her fucking news from. So she's on it regularly. Yeah, depends on the generation. <laughs> yeah all the time. All right, now and as an artist, a... Facebook ads are massive. Do you want to give a shout out to anybody? I'm going to shout out to my mom, my family. You know, what's up, Gina? What's up, Tan family? How we doing? My boys, Alex. My buddy, yo, Mr. Flicks. Check him out. Crazy videographer. I've got a music video coming out with him later this year. Insane. Be ready. Do I have your permission to put this on the internet? Hell yeah. All right. You want to do a picture for Instagram? That's for, uh, for, the, for the camera. I'm already filming right now. Oh, you shit. want to introduce yourself? What's up? Yeah. Mask or no mask? It don't matter. What's up? Yeah. Calvin Ryan. Uh huh. New York's Chino Latino. Yeah. Hip hop, pop, R&B, Latino, rapper, uh -huh. singer from New York, Bayside yeah. Queens. Shout uh -huh. out. Uh, uh -huh. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, how'd you get started with this music? Oh, uh, bro, I've been writing music low-key for the past, like, three years until uh -huh. I was in my buddy Joey's Honda Civic. I asked him, I was like, yo, like, I always had, like, a little notes app on my yeah. phone, like, in the, in the little file of my notes, just random bars, lyrics, verses, 
ask him about mm-hmm. whether or not he had one. He was like, no, what the fuck? I thought it was a normal thing to do. Mm-hmm. thought everyone had one. Next thing you know, I was just like sticking with it. I was like, all right, I'm going to pursue this. And I've uh, been recording for two years now, and I released my first song last year. Three songs out right now. Spotify, Apple Music, all platforms. A uh, new song coming out tomorrow night, January 15th, called Regrets. This song, and I hella more songs coming out 2021. Big year. Who are some of your influences? Bro, it's uh, it's crazy because, I mean, I listened to Spanish music growing up in my household. Um, but then, next, you know, I switched to, like, pop, EDM, uh, hip-hop, R&B, like, everything. So, uh, I'd say, like, I kind of... I get my sound mostly from like, I say like Chris Brown, big Chris Brown fan, uh, Drake. Honestly, like some Bruno Mars, throwing some pop in there. So it's just like a little bit of everything, you know. So where can we find you online? Online, Calvin Ryan, C A L V I N space Ryan. I'm on IG. My IG is Calvin Ryan two underscores. Uh, I'm on TikTok. My TikTok is Burrito Dumpling. Shout out Chino Latino and yeah, that's me. Oh, uh, so what do you see yourself five years from now? Five years from now, shit. Yeah. Five years from now, I see myself at least at least two Grammys in. You know, hosting the Grammys. Yeah. Next thing you know, I moved in from moved from the music to acting too. Oh, you trying to become an actor? And I got a podcast. I'm trying to do it all. I'm trying to do a, a, lot, a lot of bit of everything. I'm trying to be everywhere. So what was you doing during the lockdown? What's up? What was you doing during the lockdown? During the lockdown, I was just doing making music. You was making music? Yeah, just making music. On Spotify? Yeah, I mean, that was kind of like the whole reason I, I released all my music. I was kind of like, you know, like, nothing certain here in life. I had all my music just like vaulted up. Didn't want to show anybody, but you know, it was like, you know, like, fuck what everybody else thinks I'm gonna just do what I like and just do what I love and just so I started uh really pursuing my music and put it out there no you said you was Latino yes sir you speak any foreign languages I speak Spanish I love Espanol can you say anything in Spanish other than that well, what's see, your favorite thing like cosa. Slang, slang phrase what's up yeah any slang phrases any secret phrases that nobody knows about my I, I heard I was talking to a black Latino and he says whenever Latinos say bad things about him, he said he goes they go into a deep slice so they don't so he Yeah, black everyone guy tries to be them. like low key as fuck yeah. about it, but the amount of times I've like I've like peeped or just sniped people just like bringing up like harsh comments or talking shit. Uh-huh. And then I'll just speak back to them in Spanish, I'll say, Entiendo que estás diciendo. It uh-huh. means like, yo, I understand what you're saying and they'll just yeah, freeze yeah. up and just be like, oh fuck. Uh, yeah. and they'll apologize mm-hmm. and then I'll tell them to go fuck themselves and then yeah. yeah. All right, so you said you're a New Yorker, right? Yes, sir. Born and raised. No. Uh, can you do a New York accent? <laughs> New York accent. I mean, I don't I don't have, like, the, the harsh New York accent like everybody else has with the water, my yeah. coffee. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I see, I, I don't think I really have a New York accent. You can't do one either? I mean, I can do one, but... Okay. You want to in front of the camera? Nah, I mean, nah, it's, not, it's my, not my thing. I'll speak to you in Spanish all day. Okay. Well, I write in Spanish all day. But New York slang, you know, it's just, I don't I've really have had, New York I've slang. had some people do like the, the real New York type accent. The New York accent, yeah. like, hey, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, 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 the yeah. fuck you think I've had people do that. And but you got I've... the, that's like the old school, like the yeah, Italian, yeah, yeah. like old school New York accent. Yeah, yeah, now you got yeah, the new the school uh-huh. with the, hey, yo, uh-huh. you know what I'm talking I'm going to put this closer because of the audio. Yeah, uh, sure. I've heard people also do that dead ass thing as well. Yeah, dead ass. I mean, yeah. I don't know if that's just slang. It's just like not no, an dude, accent. It's just that it's slang. It's not an accent. You know, it's yeah. just dead ass. Yeah. yeah. It's like well, word is bond. What up? Word is bond. Word is bond. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah, I was I talking to my homie. He's uh, from Kentucky. Yeah. And he said they don't say word is bond over there. I mean, what what the fuck do they say? In, no one knows what they say in Kentucky. I don't do they know, say I don't anything in they Kentucky? Say. They say y'all probably. Yeah, like, y'all. Uh, I've, I've only been there once, so I don't really know that much about this. When you, were you talking to your buddy in Kentucky here in New York? No, I talked to him on the phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I say, if it was here in New York, he's here for a week. You know, there's, uh, there's he's no slang in here. Kentucky, shit. He's never been here. Um, let's see. I if mean, you, ask Jack Harlow. He's from Louisville. Yeah. If you could time travel, what, where would you go? Time travel, yeah. shit. Future, past, where would you go? Ooh. 
If I could time travel. Because, you know, I always watch this movie, Back to the Future. I'm like, why are these guys choosing? Why are they choosing, like, 1955, right?